Hey, it's Mike, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit great quality vertical videos for your social media channels using iMovie, Keynote, and QuickTime Player for the Mac. If you wanna make a bigger impact with your social media videos, you should really be considering making your videos more native to the social media platforms that you're uploading them to. So for example, if you wanna stand out on mobile first social media platforms like Instagram Stories, IGTV, Snapchat, TikTok, or Byte, then you should really consider creating vertical or portrait videos with a nine by 16 aspect ratio. Vertical videos just make better use of the space on those platforms. Now, recording vertical video is easy enough using just your smartphone, but what do you do when it comes to editing? Well, there are a number of mobile apps for editing vertical video. You can even use pro-level editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 10. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create great quality vertical videos for your social media using just iMovie, Keynote, and QuickTime Player. Free applications that come with every Mac, at least at the time of this recording. Let's jump in. Okay, we're gonna start the vertical video editing process on my Mac here in iMovie. Now I'm running Mac OS Catalina 10.15.2 and iMovie 10.1.14 for your reference. And as you can see here in the media browser, I have a few video clips. I recorded these clips with my iPhone in portrait orientation. Now, if you're wondering how I got these clips into iMovie on my Mac, I just airdrop them from my iPhone onto my Mac and then just dragged and dropped them into iMovie. All right, to start editing, I'm going to drag this first clip here into the timeline. Now, looking at the preview window, you can see my video is there and it's got the vertical orientation, but the orientation of my iMovie project, the preview window here, is still landscape or horizontal, which creates all this empty black space in the frame, these black bars around the content. Now this is happening because iMovie projects are locked to a landscape or horizontal orientation. You can't change the dimensions of your iMovie project like you can in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 10. So if the iMovie project is locked into this horizontal or landscape orientation, how are we going to make our final video vertical for social media? Well, I'll show you how. But before I get to that step, I'm gonna to edit together my video in the timeline here. So I'm gonna pause this screen recording and come back when I'm done. All right, I'm back and I've edited together my video clips and I've added some music as well. Let's just have a quick look and a listen to this. Do you wanna make a bigger impact with the videos that you're uploading to social media? Well, consider making those videos more native to the social media platforms that you're uploading to. Do you want your video to stand out on mobile first platforms like Instagram Stories, IGTV, Snapchat, Byte, or TikTok? Well, to maximize the video experience on those platforms, you should be creating vertical or portrait video with a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to take the vertical video that you've shot with your smartphone and turn it into a high quality edited vertical video masterpiece using free software that comes with every Mac. Let's jump in. All right, I'm happy with this edit, but I'd like to add a couple of things. I wanna add a lower third graphic to identify me near the beginning of the video. And I'd also like to add a graphic over here where I'm talking about the different social media platforms that use vertical video. So to create both of those graphics, I'm gonna jump over to Apple Keynote. Okay, so here we are in Keynote. This is Keynote 9.2.1. And to create the graphics for my vertical video, I'm going to create a new project by going to the top menu and selecting File, New. I'm gonna take the default selection of Wide Orientation with the black theme. We're gonna change this in a moment. So I'll just go down and select Choose and our blank project opens up. I'm just gonna reduce the size of the view by going up to the zoom controls here and adjusting the view so I can see my slide better. And I'll just get rid of this default text 
by selecting on it and hitting the delete key. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is change the orientation of my Keynote project from landscape or horizontal to vertical. So I'll just go up to the top right menu of the Keynote interface and select Document. Then I'll go down to the Slide Size and from the drop down menu, I'll select Custom Slide Size. And I get this dialog up here at the top where I can change the resolution of my project and my slides. So right now it's set to 1920 by 1080, which gives us the familiar landscape orientation. I'm gonna reverse these numbers and then just hit okay. And now my project and slides are portrait or vertical orientation. I'm just gonna resize the view again so now I can build the graphics for my vertical video in vertical orientation here in Keynote, making it easier to figure out where to place things. Now, I'm not going to force you to watch me build all of my graphics here in Keynote because this tutorial is about creating vertical video, not Keynote animation. I'll save that for another video. So I'm just going to pause this recording again. And when I come back, I'll have all of my graphics and animations built and ready to go. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back. So here on slide one of my Keynote project is the lower third animation I built. Now you can see I grabbed a frame from my vertical video in iMovie just to use as a background reference. Let's play this. And I'll hit escape to get out of that. Okay, on the second slide, I created an animated graphic featuring the logos of the social media platforms I talk about in my video. I'll play this so you can see what's going on. I'll hit escape to get out of that. Just a production note, I timed this animation to the dialogue in the video in iMovie, just to make sure that the timing worked out properly. All right, now I'm going to export these animated graphics so I can use them back over in my iMovie vertical video project. I'm going to export my lower third animation first, which is on slide one, by first selecting the slide. Now, I want this lower third to overlay my video in iMovie, so I need everything on this slide to be transparent, except for my lower third animation. First, I'm going to delete this background image. So with my slide selected and with no other elements selected on my slide, I'll go over to the top right menu and make sure format is selected, then go down to background and from the drop down, I'll select no fill. And now the background of my slide is empty. Now it's hard to know that because the background of my slide is still black. But this little red slash through symbol over here tells me my background is empty. Now because my lower third is animated, I want to export it as a video. So to do that, I'll go up to Keynote's top menu and select File, Export to Movie. And in the Export dialog, I'll leave Playback set to self-playing under slides, I'll select from and enter one to one because my lower third animation is on slide one and I want to export it as its own video. I'll leave this section as is. All my build animations are set to happen automatically, not on click, so I don't need to touch this. Now under resolution, from the drop down, I'll select custom and I'll enter the resolution for my exported video, which I want to be 1080 by 1920, because I want my exported video to be vertical or portrait orientation. Under compression type, I'll select Apple ProRes 4444 and make sure export with transparent backgrounds is checked so that the background of my lower third animation is transparent in iMovie. I'll hit next. I'll find a place to export my video to. And I'll hit export. 
and my lower third animation is exported as a video. Okay, now that that's done, I'll do the same thing for my second slide. But because the animation here on this slide is full frame, I don't need to make the background of the slide transparent. So I can just go up to File, Export to Movie. Again, I'll leave playback set to self-playing. And under Slides, I'll select From and enter 2 to 2 because this animation is on slide 2 and I want it to be its own video file. Again, all my build animations are set to happen automatically, not on click, so I'll just leave this section alone. And under Resolution, from the drop-down menu, I'll select Custom, and again, enter 1080 by 1920 to export my animation in vertical orientation. Under Compression Type, I can just leave it as H.264 and export my slide. Okay, now that those animations have been exported out of Keynote, I'm gonna hop back over to iMovie and finish editing together my vertical video masterpiece. And you can see how everything comes together. Okay, we're back in iMovie and I've added those animations I created in Keynote. I just dragged and dropped them from the desktop into the media browser for my iMovie project, then dragged and dropped them as cutaway clips on top of the main timeline here and placed them accordingly. Let's have a look at this final edit. Do you want to make a bigger impact with the videos that you're uploading to social media? Well, consider making those videos more native to the social media platforms that you're uploading to. Do you want your video to stand out on mobile-first platforms like Instagram Stories, IGTV, Snapchat, Byte, or TikTok? Well, to maximize the video experience on those platforms, you should be creating vertical or portrait video with a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to take the vertical video that you've shot with your smartphone and turn it into a high quality edited vertical video masterpiece using free software that comes with every Mac. Let's jump in. Looks good, but I'm still stuck with this landscape or horizontal orientation for my iMovie project iMovie edits and exports videos in landscape orientation only. So if I export this video now as is, it's not going to look very good in Instagram Stories or IGTV. There will be a lot of wasted resolution around the actual content, all this black space. I can fix this. Now, it's a bit of a hack, but it works like a charm. Watch. First, I'm going to click and drag to select all of the clips in the timeline. Then I'm going to go up to the toolbar above the preview window and select the cropping tool. Then I'm going to go over to the right and select rotate the clip clockwise. And now all of my vertical clips have been rotated clockwise 90 degrees. But more importantly, my vertical media now fills the screen. There's no black bars. It takes up all the resolution. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is export my project. So I'm just going to go up to the Share button in the top right corner of the interface. And from the menu, I'll select File. And that brings up my export settings. I'll make sure 1080p resolution is selected. I'll make sure quality is set to high. And Compress set to better quality because who doesn't want better quality? I'll hit Next and save out my file to the desktop. All right, I'm going to minimize iMovie, and then I'm going to find my exported file on the desktop. And I'm going to right-click or Control-click on it and select Open With and QuickTime Player. And there's my horizontal video opened up in QuickTime Player. I'm just going to resize this down a little bit. And now the final step, I'm going to make my horizontal video vertical by going up to the top menu in QuickTime Player and selecting Edit, Rotate Left. And there's my vertical video. 
Let's just play this. Do you want to make a bigger impact with the videos that you're uploading to social media? Well, consider making those videos more native to the social media platforms that you're uploading to. Do you want your video to stand out on mobile-first platforms like Instagram Stories, IGTV, Snapchat, Byte, or TikTok? Well, to maximize the video experience on those platforms, you should be creating vertical or portrait video with a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to take the vertical video that you've shot with your smartphone and turn it into a high quality edited vertical video masterpiece using free software that comes with every Mac. Let's jump in. All right, everything seems to be there. So the final, final step is to save out my file here by clicking on the little red X in the top left corner of the QuickTime Player window. And I get the export dialog. And I can enter a unique name, find a location to export to, and hit save. Now you may be wondering why I decided to use Keynote for my lower third text instead of using iMovie's built-in text function. Well, the big reason is lack of flexibility. You just can't move iMovie's text around the screen. It's kind of locked in place, and it's also locked in that landscape orientation, much like the iMovie project is locked into that landscape orientation. Besides, I really enjoy using Keynote for my videos. It just opens up so many creative possibilities. Now, if you want to learn more ways to use Keynote in your video creation workflow, have a look at these videos on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.